So in this video, we're going to be talking about the other variable that you use for scratching. So obviously in the previous videos, we've been talking about the record, moving the record back and manipulating the sample specifically with the record. The other variable that you use is the crossfader, which is this thing. Now what the crossfader does, if you have it set up properly, is it turns off the record and then turns it on again. Off and on. Now you should start thinking about each hand is like a snare drummer. So the way someone works with a drum is there's a series of rudiments. And what a rudiment is, is it's a combination of working with both of your hands. Just like this, you're going to have lots of combinations of working with the hand with the record and the hand with the crossfader. Um, in future videos, we're going to be getting into way more advanced combinations, but just start think relating it to other instruments like the snare drum or the jazz saxophone where you learn little series of rudiments. This is no different than any of that.